So welcome back guys to another tutorial on Kids Coming Playground. Today we'll be doing the second tutorial for the tank game we've been working on. So first, we would like to go to the click, and then we want to change a little bit. We want to make it hide in the beginning, so basically it won't be like this on top. So now when you click play and stop, the white will not be on top. So, And the game is still fully functional, you can still click, stuff like that. So yeah. Alright. So... I'll go over the code a little bit, so this is like the movement, so you can put any that you have not put yet. So movement, losing, um, taking damage, it's the cannon, the boss we have not coded yet, the enemies, you can pause the video if you'd like, and then these are just decoration, nothing really. The click, so then you can click, the laser, alright, so that's it. So now, let's go to the tank, so inside the tank, instead of putting stop all right here, we are going to get the broadcast, broadcast, um, gonna broadcast a message, game over. So in the game over, we're going to paint a new sprite, and then, I'm just gonna make it red or something, uh, text, and then we're gonna write game over. Okay. Game over, we're gonna make this a little bit bigger, put it in the middle, centered. Alright. So inside here, we're going to when the green flag clicked, inside the game over, we're going to go to zero zero. And we're going to hide. When I receive um, the message game over, then we will show this thing. We're going to make it go to front layer, show, and then we're going to stop all. Alright. And then, so now when you take enough damage, you will actually lose in the turn one. Yeah, so you can see when you go to zero lives, it'll say game over, and you'll lose. Alright, so now let's go to the boss. So inside the boss, we're going to start coding in here. So inside the boss, we're going to get a one green flag clicked. Zoom in. When green flag clicked, we are going to hide. After hiding, we're going to make a variable, and we're going to name it boss HP. So boss HP, I'll put that on the top right. So we're going to hide the variable boss HP in the beginning. And we're going to set the variable boss HP to 20, so if you'll have 20 lives. And we're going to wait one second, wait one second, and then we're going to go to uh, pick random uh, negative 240 to 240. And then we're going to do 150 for the Y. And after that, we're going to wait until, we're going to use a wait until, so we're going to wait until the score is greater than, let's say, 2,000. So wait until the score is greater than 2,000. So for the demonstration, I might have to, like, decrease the number. So for now, we're just going to put 2,000, so it's going to be like that. And then we're going to show once if the score is over 2,000. And then... We're going to show the variable boss, so we don't want to show the variable boss HP in the beginning. And then after um, the boss appears, then we'll show the variable. And then forever, forever, we're going to point towards the tank. Point towards the tank. And I'll make the boss move 0 0.5 steps instead of 1, so it's a little bit slower. And then we're going to do if. If touching tank, touching tank, then we will um, get an if then statement. And we're also going to check if taking damage is equal to n, so, which is no. So we're going to check if taking damage is equal to n. And if it is, then we're going to broadcast taking greater damage because the boss does more damage. So we're going to do taking greater damage. Uh, and after that, we're going to get an if-then statement. If, um, if the boss has less than zero or uh, equal to zero HP, so boss HP is less than or equal to, so, oops, it has to be or, sorry, or less than or equal to zero. So boss HP 
less than or equal to zero, then we will hide, hide the boss, because it's dead. And we're going to play the sound, uh, whatever this is, Alien Creek, until done. Alien Creek 2, and then we're going to broadcast a message called you win, once you kill the boss. You win. So in, all right, right here in the boss, we have another script to code in. So when the green flag clicked, this is like if it's touching the laser and stuff. So forever, if, so we're coding this in a separate block because if we code it in here, it will, the boss will keep on stopping because it has to run this code all over again. So that's why we're going to put it in a separate place. So if, forever, if touching laser, touching laser, laser, then we're going to change the boss by negative one, change boss HP by negative one. And then we're going to start sound alien Creek one. Yeah, this sound. And then we're going to change the score 300. Change the score by 300 every time you hit the boss. And then repeat five times. Change color effect by 25. And then we're going to clear the graphic effects. And after that, we're going to wait a 0.5 second before continuing. So gonna wait a little bit before ending the game. Alright, so inside the tank, remember we broadcast the taking greater damage? We're gonna code that right now. So taking greater damage when I receive taking greater damage. If it's taking greater damage, we're going to get an if then statement. If we can just duplicate this, we just have to change some of the variables. So tank taking damage is equal to no. Then we're gonna set the tank taking damage to Y and then change the life by negative two instead. And all of this should be the same. Alright, instead of 1, we're going to need minus 2, because the boss does more damage. Alright. Pretty sure that's it. Oh yeah, and also here, we have to make a new costume. Duplicate. And then we're just going to change this. You win. You win. Center. Let's make it green. Alright, and then we're going to... When I receive... Um... Game over, we're going to switch costume to costume 1, which is game over. And then we're just going to duplicate this. When I receive you win, then we're going to switch costume to costume uh, 2. This should be costume 1, sorry. Alright, so now let's try out the game. So I'm trying. I'm going to try to get 2,000 score, so then I can try to get find the boss. Alright, the boss should come out. Yeah, as you can see. Hit, finish shooting, finish shooting, finish shooting. Oh no, we gotta run. Turn this way, this way. Boss still has like 13 HP, that's not that good. For us, uh, it's kinda hard to control. Also, as you can see, it if you shoot multiple bullets, it only takes one damage. Alright, as you can see, we killed the boss, you win. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Um, if you, This is the second part for the tutorial on the tank game. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please leave a like and consider subscribing to Kids Code and Playground. And I will see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye.